So what's new at TurboSmart? The big thing that's something to get excited about is a redesign of all their wastegates. Now, you know we usually like their wastegate to begin with, but there's even more to like this year. Some of the things is they've completely redesigned the valve and the housing for more flow. Um, generally, it's about 25 to 30 percent more flow across the product line. Now they've done some things like um, modified the valve contour. Uh, they use CFD to uh, come out with uh, uh, really good contours around the valve and around the uh, valve to seat interface, and also like inside the housing here. Um, one of the cool things is the valve actually has like a three angle valve job just like you know in the race motor to really help that uh, low lift flow. Uh, another thing is that they've gone to the use of conventional V-bands. Uh, these are like stainless V-bands so when you like loosen the bolt they just kind of pop and you don't have to swing and tap them off like the old machine ones. So this uh, speeds servicing the wastegate um, up quite a bit so you take the wastegate on and off a lot easier. Another thing um, they've done is uh, they've had like a, a spatter nut on the bottom here where um, you could uh, clock the uh, actuator any way you want. Now you've always been able to clock the lid, but now you have the additional flexibility with clocking the bottom and the lid so you can get any possible angle you need to get the thing to fit. Uh, another cool thing is they've added uh, water cooling to the actuator. Now a lot of people might say, why do you need to water cool your wastegate? Well, they get really hot. Now on street turbo systems, that usually isn't a problem. But um, you start doing the shift sector stuff, the half mile runs, the mile runs, you go to Bonneville, where you're at wide open throttle for a long period of time, the wastegate gets really hot and um, wastegate failure can be an issue. Also, like if it's a marine application and you have these things on the boat, with a boat, you just like nail the throttle and just leave it there. So the wastegate can build up a lot of heat. So water cooling really helps. Um, even in road racing, uh, sometimes you may position the wastegate in a non-optimal position to where <clears throat> you don't get a bunch of airflow to it. You don't get airflow to the wastegate, it starts getting hot. Like we've had that problem in drift cars. Uh, the water cool uh, option, well it's not an option, but using the water cool function on the wastegate uh, can really help in all these situations. The other thing that they've done is they've come up with a uh, motorsports wastegate. This thing has a really high grade um, valve and valve guide that can resist a lot of heat. <coughs> it, it has a big heat sink in between the wastegate actuator and, and the housing and, the, and a really extensive heat shield. So this guy can take a lot of heat, has a lot of flow in the compact package and uh, it's pretty exciting. We, we really want to use uh, some of these products. Um, you know, like if you actually do um, stuff in motorsports, wastegate failure isn't always an issue, and um, TurboSmart has put all this stuff to bed for this year.